Today we'll dive into techie stuff. As you may already know, we recently incorporated some changes to our Kickstarter campaign, which will allow us to maintain this initiative without much delay. The changes are minor, but we wanted to go through some of them so that you can be informed about our next moves. For us, an important part of being an open source project is being as transparent as possible. The Kickstarter campaign will focus on hardware development, but all of our software components will keep on being developed thanks to other income sources. We've recently released a blog article in which we detail all of our roadmap so that you can be aware of all the hardware and software developments that we're working on. We'll leave a link to this roadmap in the description below. We'll also drop a pre-order link so that you can guarantee access to one of the limited rewards that we will be offering on our Kickstarter campaign. Having said this, the main efforts in terms of redesign have been focused in our k sectors, the sensors that drive core data motion, and we wanted to go through some of them. We've built on top of our existing prototype, the same one that our two cohorts of beta testers have already had access to. We've incorporated components and applied changes to the layout of the sensor in order to render it more reliable and accurate. Our new sensor, the K-Scepter++, will have many improvements in terms of electronic immunity and it will also incorporate an onboard processor. This will provide a reliable performance even in adverse electromagnetic conditions and decentralized processing units which we need in order to go through some of the software improvements described in our roadmap. We're also changing the connectors. After giving it many thoughts, we've decided to go for the RJ45 connector, which is the same one found in regular Ethernet ports. They provide a reliable connection with a robust grip, and they will also give you the flexibility of acquiring replacement cables in virtually any store. We place the connectors in the opposite side of the PCB, which will allow us to make the K-Scepter++ much smaller than our current prototype. The new K-Scepter is also conceived so that it can be attached to a support structure or socket so that all the delicate components can be protected from occasional impact. If you want to know more about the K-Scepter++, make sure to check out our Kickstarter page once it's open. You'll find a complete overview of the new components and the current layout. We will be opening our campaign by the 1st of July 2020. That's the end of this same month. So we advise you to go to our website and place your pre-order, as that's the only way that you can guarantee you'll be informed about the exact timing that our Kickstarter page will be live. This will give you an advantage when trying to place a pre-order for one of our limited rewards such as the early bird prize or the plug and play kits. Thanks to all of those who have already shown their interest in core data motion. You guys are making open source motion capture a reality. I'll see you again in our next video, remember to stay safe and let's keep on moving.